Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am Teeny Crochets and today I'll be showing you how to crochet the Among Us character. So for all the items that you will need and a link to the free written pattern check the description box below and other than that get your crochet hooks at the ready and let's get going. Now before we get going, I know you're sick of hearing this from all the creators that you watch but if you do like this content, please leave a thumbs up now before you forget. It's free and it helps my channel out so much. And if you haven't already, why not click that subscribe button so you never miss out on free crochet tutorials. So to make our Among Us character, I'm going to begin with my 3.5mm hook and I'm going to be making this little chap out of this colour, so it's like a bluey teal, but you can choose whatever colour you want. So to begin with, we're going to do a slip knot onto our hook and I'm going to chain two. So one and two. Now into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do six single crochets. So six single crochets all into the second chain space. So one and two, three, four, five and six. So we now have six single crochets and on the next round I'm going to increase to 12. To do that, I'm going to do two single crochets into every stitch beneath. So two single crochets into each of these stitches. So I'm just going to loosen my first stitch off. And into my first stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets for one and two. Into the next stitch, I'm going to do stitches number three and four. Into the next stitch, stitches five and six. Into the next stitch, stitches seven and eight into the next stitches nine and ten and into the last stitch of this round I'm going to do two single crochets for stitches eleven and twelve so we now have twelve stitches and on this next round we're going to single crochet all these stitches in the back loop only so we're going to do twelve single crochets in the back loop only so when every stitch as I'm sure you've heard me say before, has two legs or two loops, it has a front loop and it has a back loop. And we are only going to pick up the loop furthest away from us, so the back loop only for this round. So 12 single crochets in the back loop only. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we're going to single crochet around these 12 stitches for five rows and we're going to single crochet through both loops again. So we're going to go through both loops as normal as we were with a normal single crochet and I'm going to do five rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back here when I've nearly finished my fifth round. There we go, so I've just finished my five rounds of single crochet and if you haven't guessed this is going to be his leg. So we need to make two of these and I have already made my first one. So if you haven't made two already you want to join with a slip stitch and cut the yarn and remake another one and you want to keep the second one that you make attached to the yarn. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join these two legs together. So to do that, I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch of my current piece. And now I'm loosely going to chain two. So one and two. I'm now going to pick up the first leg that I made and I'm going to slip stitch into any of the stitches on that leg. So there we go. So I've joined these two legs with a chain two. So we've got 12 stitches on each leg and I've just slip stitched into one of the stitches on this leg. So we're not going to use that stitch anymore. So I'm going to continue to single crochet around the remaining 11 stitches. So we're not counting this slip stitch. So I'm going to do 11 more single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Get some yarn, ten and eleven. Next, I'm going to do a single crochet into each of these chains. So just like they were our foundation chains, I'm going to single crochet into half of these chains. That is why we do it, we chain these loosely and it makes this part much easier. So I'm going to single crochet one into the first chain, then I'm going to single crochet into the second chain. We're now at the next leg and we've got 11 stitches remaining on this leg because we single, we slip stitched into one to do our chains. So I'm going to single crochet around the 11 remaining stitches on this leg. So 11 stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven. So I'm now back at the chain twos and I'm going to single crochet into this other half of these chains. So we single crocheted into one half earlier and now I'm going to single crochet into the other half. So one and two. Now I'm going to stuff all of these yarn tails into the legs just to get them out of the way. And we've now joined the two legs. So we now have a total of 26 stitches because we have 11 stitches on each leg which gives us a total of 22 stitches. We then have two chains and we've single crocheted into either side of each of the chains giving us four stitches. So 22 plus the four middle stitches is 26 stitches. So now I'm going to single crochet around these 26 stitches for four rows. So four rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back here when I'm nearly done. So our next row we are going to decrease to 24 stitches. So to do that we're going to single crochet 11 stitches then we're going to single crochet two stitches together. We're only going to do that twice. So I'm going to single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven and now I'm going to single crochet two stitches together. So to do that I'm going to take my hook and insert my hook underneath the front loop only of the first stitch then take it and put it under the front loop only of the second stitch so there are three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops so there are two loops on my hook then yarn over and pull through both of these loops and that's how I'm going to do all my single crochet two stitches together. So now we single crochet for another 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, oh, 10 and 11 and then we're going to single crochet two stitches together again. So one more time we're going to insert our hook underneath the front loop of the first stitch, under the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both of these loops. So we now have 24 stitches and I'm going to single crochet around these 24 stitches for three rounds. Three rounds of single crochet. There we go. So I've finished my three rounds of 24 stitches and I'm going to pull up a loop because I'm going to add some stuffing at this point. So. Obviously we'll do another stuff a little bit later, but I just want to make sure I get right into the legs. And whenever you stuff something, you want to make sure that your foot, your, um, what's the word, manipulating it with one hand. So you want to make sure you're pushing the foam exactly where you want it to be and not overstuffing anywhere because you'll just make them look fat. <laughs> there we go. So that'll do for now. So for our next round, if you, we've got 24 stitches and on our next round we want to decrease to 20. So to do this we're going to single crochet 10 stitches and then single crochet 2 stitches together twice. So I'm going to single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now I'm going to decrease for 11. There we go. 
then single crochet tw oh, 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 18 19 and 20 21 and let's decrease for number 22 again and then decrease for 22 so we now have 22 stitches and I'm going to single crochet around these for three more rounds so three rounds of single crochet for the next row we're going to decrease again from 22 to 20 stitches so to do this we're going to single crochet nine stitches then single crochet two stitches together and we're going to do that twice so single crochet for one two three four ooh, three again four five six seven eight and nine then decrease for 10, single crochet 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19 and decrease for 20. And now we're going to single crochet around these 20 stitches for two rows so two rounds of single crochet so on our next round we're going to decrease to 18 stitches to do that we're going to single crochet eight stitches and then single crochet two stitches together we're going to do that twice so single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight decrease for stitch number nine single crochet ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and decrease for eighteen and we're going to go straight into our last decrease round so we've got 18 stitches and on the last round we're going to decrease to 12 to do that we're going to single crochet into one stitch then single crochet two stitches together six times so single crochet for one and decrease for two single crochet three decrease for four single crochet five decrease for six single crochet seven decrease for eight single crochet nine decrease for ten single crochet eleven and decrease for twelve now to fasten off I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch to join chain one and fasten off I'm going to leave a bit of a long tail because I'll use this tail to close this hole in a minute so the next thing I want to do is stuff his body even more. And when you're happy with how stuffed he is, you're going to take the yarn tail that you left, pop it onto an embroidery needle. And now we're going to pick up the front loop only of the remaining 12 stitches. So in order, I'm going to pick up the front loops of the last 12 stitches there we go and when you've got all 12 stitches pull tight to close that hole and then weave in your tail next to make the bag pack so with the same colour yarn as the body and the same hook 3.5 millimetres I'm going to slip knot onto my hook and I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now I'm going to single crochet into the second chain from hook and into the next three chains. One, two, and three. Now into this last chain, I'm going to do three single crochets all into the same chain. 
So three single crochets, one, two and three. And that's going to allow me to rotate my work. So we're now working in the opposite side of the foundation chain. So now I'm going to single crochet three again. One, two and three. And into the last chain, which was the first stitch of the previous round, I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. So we now have 12 stitches and we're working in the round. So for the next round, we're going to increase to 18 stitches. To do that, into this first stitch, the first stitch of this round, I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. Now I'm going to single crochet three stitches. One, two and three. Then into the next three stitches, I'm going to do two single crochets into each of them. So one and two into the first stitch, one and two into the second stitch, one and two into the third stitch. Next I'm going to single crochet three, one, two and three and into the last two stitches of this round I'm going to do two single crochets into each of them. One and two into the first stitch, one and two into the next stitch. So we now have 18 stitches and I'm going to single crochet around these 18 stitches for seven rows. Seven rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. So I have just finished my seventh round and we're going to close up this end now. Now to do that the first thing I want to do is identify the three corner stitches on each side. So I'm going to press my work flat and move all the yarn tails out the way and you can see where the three corner stitches are on either side. So if I bring you in, over here you've got one, two and three and here we have one, two and three. So if you're not going to be able to remember where they are, put a clip marker in the front and back or the first and third stitch of each of these. But what we're going to do is we're going to decrease at these points. So if you noticed, I finished my seventh round exactly where I need to be to do my first decrease because here are the first three stitches that I need to single crochet together. So if you want, if you've, if you've finished a little bit further back due to tension or whatever, just do a couple of extra stitches until you get to the first corner with your first three stitches. So now we're going to single crochet three stitches together. So to do that, I'm going to insert my hook into the, oh, come back into focus, insert my hook under the front loop of the first stitch, the front loop of the second stitch, and the front loop of the third stitch. So I've got four loops all on my hook. Yarn over and pull through three loops. So there are two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through both of these loops. So now I'm going to single crochet up to my next corner, so my next three stitches. Or if you've used a clip marker up to where your marker is. So one more stitch. So I'm now ready to single crochet three stitches together again. So I insert my hook under the front loop of the first stitch, the front loop of the second stitch, and the front loop of the third stitch. Yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch to join and chain one to fasten off. And we're going to leave a bit of a tail because we'll use this tail to close the rest of the hole. So now I'm going to put some filling in this bag. So that about does it. Then I'm going to pick up my yarn tail, put my embroidery needle onto it. And I'm going to sew this to get this hole together. And I'm going to do that by doing mattress stitch. So I'm going to bring you in once again. And I'm going to go under the front loop, I mean sorry, I'm going to go underneath the back loop of the opposite stitch on the opposite side. And then I'm going to bring my needle and go under the back loop of the next stitch on the side closest to me. 
Now the back loop of the next stitch on the side furthest away. <laughs> I know this isn't making much sense with how I explain it but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And under the back loop of the stitch closest to me. So we are basically in a zigzag motion going under the back loops of the stitch on the front side and the furthest away side of this bag. And we're going to do that all the way up to the end. There we go. Then pull tight and I'm going to use this end tail to sew this onto the back of the character. So I can zoom you out a little bit now so you can see everything. If we bring the character back in, choose which side you want to be the front and the back. So I'm going to have this as the front and this side as the back. I'm going to hold the backpack into place. You can use pins if you want. And I'm going to sew along both sides of the bag. So I'm going to pick up a stitch from the body closest to the bag and then a stitch from underneath the side of the bag. <laughs> and when I get to the last stitch on this side, I'm going to insert my hook into this side and bring it out in a stitch closest to the bag on the opposite side to stitch this side together as well. So I'm going to repeat the same thing down this side of the bag. There we go. And now I can weave this yarn tail in. To make the face screen, I'm using grey yarn and my 3.5mm hook. I'm going to start with a slip knot onto my hook. And I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. So I'm going to do a single crochet into the second chain from hook and into the next two chains. So single crochet into the next two chains. One and two. And into this last stitch I'm going to do three single crochets all into the same stitch. One, two and three. So like with the bag, we are now going to be working in the opposite side of the foundation chains. So I'm going to begin by single crocheting two, one and two, and then doing two single crochets into this last stitch, one and two. So we now have ten single crochets or ten stitches working in the round. And on this next round we're going to increase to sixteen. To do that, I'm going to do two single crochets into this first stitch, one and two. Now I'm going to single crochet two, one and two. Next I'm going to do two single crochets into each of the next three stitches, so one and two into the first stitch, one and two into the second stitch, one and two into the third stitch. Now single crochet two, one and two, and now two single crochets into each of the last two stitches, one and two into the first, one and two into the second. So we now have 16 single crochets and I'm going to single crochet around these 16 stitches twice. So single crochet around twice. And when you've finished your two rounds, we're going to slip stitch to join, chain one and fasten off. Don't forget to leave a longer tail than normal because we'll use this to sew it onto his face. So this will be his little face mask and we're going to slightly stuff it. So put a little bit of polyfill in it and then if we bring in our chap, I'm going to position this where I want it to be and I'm going to put a pin in either side because I don't want it moving round whilst I'm sewing it on. Okay. 
So as I go around, I'm going to make sure that all this stuffing is inside the mask because I don't want it poking out the sides. So let's pop this yarn tail onto my embroidery needle and sew this mask into place. So with the similar way we did the bag, I'm going to pick up a stitch from underneath the mask and then the stitch from the edge of the mask. I'm going to do this all the way around and by picking up a stitch underneath the, where the mask is going to sit means you're not going to see the stitches once it's done. You don't want to see all these stripes going round afterwards. So I'm just going to zoom on and stitch this mask into place. Remembering to push all that stuff in and as a gam. Once you're done, I'm going to weave in this tail for the last time. Then I can cut it off. And there it is our Among Us character. And there you have the finished Among Us character. <laughs> and there you have the finished character. I think he's really cute and it didn't take long to make. If you do make this guy, don't forget to tag me on Instagram using the tag hashtag teeny crochets. And other than that, I hope you have a really lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.